You know, proper watering techniques solve a lot of problems. And if you disregard them, you're playing with fire. Here's a call. Yes, I have to in just a little bit. You were already speaking about uh, the watering and uh, to water the roots, you know, the plants, but before 7 o'clock, like before the sun came up. And I was wondering if it's okay to water them after 7 or 8 in the, in the evening so that, you know, they be watered overnight. So I wasn't too sure about that. So that is my uh, question. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 the whole nope. thing, you, you want the plant's foliage to be dry before they go to bed at night. That can't be any clearer than that. You know, black spot, powdery mildew, rust, bacteria, bacterial leaf spots, and thracnose, there are all these diseases that are enhanced when you have plants that are wet overnight. Uh, and that is not a good thing. So make sure that you water so that the foliage is dry, certainly the foliage. And I know I'd even say, you know, that the soil needs to be somewhat dry as well. But, but look, you want to make sure that the foliage is dry before the sun goes down. So that means that if you water two hours before the sun goes down, you're probably okay. But you still are going to have possible issues with root rot and some other things. And most importantly, is only water when the soil is dry. We say it all the time. Index Next finger probe. probe. That's it. Stick your finger That's in the soil. Stuff. You want it the first inch or so of soil to be dry before you water it. Um, I often, in my hanging baskets, I'll stick my hand up there and I'll grab a pinch of, pinch of soil. And I'll, I'll see if it's wet. If it's dry, I'll water. If, if it's wet, you know, I'm leaving it go. And you should do the same thing. And, and the whole trick is watering more at one time and less often. So if you can water more at one time and less often, you may only be watering maybe two, three times uh, a week, depending on what's going on with, uh, you know, the weather and so forth. How many times do we get customers coming in? Well, I water every day. You know, oh, and, um, yeah. That we get a lot of. <laughs> We get that, especially when they bring out the plant and it's so dry that it's like, no, I water every, every day. day. And it's like, yeah. 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 Or how about uh, when, they, <laughs> yeah. when they bring them in and try to douse it with water before they oh, bring yeah. it in, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's been dead for <laughs> weeks. <you know? laughs> Can I get a refund? But it happens. <laughs> it and, does happen. and that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's plant abuse, quite frankly. So the plant police will come out and get those get people. <laughs> <laughs> not really. No. Not really. Got to add another letter to ASPCA. <laughs> Something for the plants. ASPC. The animal. You know, the animal. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> animal and plant. Cruelty. There you go. <laughs> Look, watering deeply. And, and that's a term that, that's like, you know, a, a gardener's term. And what that means is, is again, making sure that that water... Um, penetrates the roots of the plant all the way down deep because the watering will train those roots to seek out water. And if it, if you're only doing a little bit of water on the top, you're going to be subject to every drought that comes along, every dry spell, everything. But if you're watering deeper and that it will go deeper in the soil to hunt for those roots because that's the last section that's going to dry out. So your roots are going to be protected from that drought zone that that is probably the first three inches of soil maybe wow. and again water the soil not the foliage you won't don't be in, when you water your plant you're really not watering your entire plant what you're watering is the roots because the foliage does not get any benefit from from watering you know maybe a little bit of misting or or what have you if you were talking about house plants but the humidity that we have outdoors is more than enough to sustain most plants. Uh, again, water the soil. Water the soil. Can I remind our viewers and our listeners to mm -hmm. also, if you have mulch, to remember that you should continue to water a little bit more than regularly. Right. I actually uh, dried out a couple plants last year because I didn't water thoroughly through the mulch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point because you see the mulch gets wet and you think, oh, I'm done. Right. You know, uh-uh, you need to water it the same way, You're, but it may or require 
more. And then always have like a check spot. So you move the mulch away to check that. So you don't stick your finger in the mulch. You, you put your finger in the soil. Always, always, always. But look, you know, morning, morning watering is hard on working people. I, I understand. Uh, I, you know, I have a funny story. I have uh, drip irrigation on these big window boxes that are up above, you know, they're up tall and yeah. I can't reach with my hose and such. I left it on for 18 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Drenched irrigation. Yeah, maybe even, I, I uh, yeah. And, and so, well, well watered. <laughs> timers, okay, timers, drip irrigation, soaker hoses, and, and like Aaron said, mulch. It are really important. It will put, I have a three zone timer that I haven't installed yet. And if I did, I wouldn't have been watering my plants for 18 hours. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to water them today or probably oh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where you can set up a, a timer. And it, my son in law, Steve, he's got timers everywhere. Oh, good for him. And that, I, <laughs> Yeah, he's smart. It's like, I guess, it's like, I don't know. He, he got all this stuff on Amazon and that uh, he's got it figured out. Way to go, Steve. Yeah, because uh, he doesn't get any free replacements. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, and, and that will help you. Um, but you got to remember, if it's raining, you know, you may not want them to go off every other day or something, so on and so forth. So even with people with so, uh, sprinkler systems, they should get a rain uh, gauge and yeah, installed. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's pretty easy installation, to be honest. With you. They have them now where they're uh, just Bluetooth connected. Wow. And so that the, the uh, sensor goes outside. And then if it rains, it, it shuts off your sprinkler system and pauses oh, it for a day. Um, it's a great idea. Yeah. But again, it's for those folks that, I mean... I've got to water my plants. I mean, I got to get to work. If I if I can get to work by by eight thirty, I've got to start watering my plants by seven. You know, sleep plants, sleep plants. My wife came to me the other day and said, "You know, I really can tell that you enjoy gardening now because I'm up first thing in the morning before I fix my kids' breakfast or anything like that or that lunch for school outside watering." Wow, because I don't go. have a sprinkler system. Wow. Yet. I don't yeah. have a sprinkler. Yeah. Yet, well, there so, you go. Yeah. I mean, that's that's great. Also, yeah. it's a little bit of peace and calm. Absolutely, yeah. the morning starts. Start your day off right. There you yeah. go. A little yeah. meditation. Yeah. That's a, you do. Hey. It's, a, it's a great thing. That's it. Absolutely, that's good. Get out there in the yeah. garden, folks. Yeah, that's there right. That's All right. right. All right. If you've got questions about watering or or even timers, any of those things, uh, we can help you. Call the hotline at 609-685-1880.